Let us solve the differential equation 3 sine y minus 5x dx plus 2x squared cotangent of y dy equals 0. So at first looking at this differential equation, we cannot identify any term here that we can replace with a new variable because looking at the trigonal function here sine y, if we let this be the expression to be replaced or the term to be replaced with a new variable, its differential cosine y dy must also be a part of the integral, but we only have here cotangent y dy. But as we all know, cotangent y is the ratio of sine and cosine, so that's cosine y over sine y, but we can express this into the ratio. So 3 sine y minus 5x dx plus 2x squared, then we rewrite cotangent y dy as the cosine of y dy over sine of y equals 0. So as we can see, if sine y is our new variable, its differential cosine y dy is also a part of the integral. So we can perform our substitution by letting, say for example, z equals sine of y. And dz equals cosine of y dy. So substituting the new variable, we get 3z minus 5x dx plus 2x squared dz over z equals 0 because sine y here in the denominator is our z. So looking at this new de now with a new variable, we can now identify, proceed with the, solving the de by determining whether it's a parabol, it's homogeneous, it's exact inexact linear. So obviously it's not sep separable. It's not homogeneous. Well, it have here. Um, it's not exact. Let's try to see if we can reduce it to its standard form and we can form a pattern that it's linear or it is a Bernoulli DE. So we can rewrite this by dividing both sides of the equation by dx, and so we can rewrite this as 2x squared over z dz dx plus 3z minus 5x equals 0. Then we multiply both sides of the equation by z. We have 2x squared dz dx plus 3z squared minus 5xz equals 0. And then we divide both sides of the equation by x to x squared. So dz dx plus 3z squared over 2x squared minus 5xz over 2x squared equals 0. So simplifying, dz dx plus 3z squared over 2x squared minus 5z over 2x squared equals 0. And rewriting this de, we have dz over dx minus 5 over 2x squared z equals the negative of 3 over 2x squared z squared. So as you can see, it forms the pattern of a Bernoulli de, the form dz dx plus p of x z equals q of x z raised to the power of n. And we are to determine our p of x which is negative 5 over 2x squared, our q of x, which is negative 3 over 2x squared, 
Or rather, that should be... This is now over... X. Okay. And our... N is 2. So rewriting that, our P of X is negative 5 over 2X. Q of X is negative 3 over 2X squared. And our N is positive 2. So now that we have that, we can now determine our integrating factor. The integrating factor V is equal to E raised to the power of 1 minus N integral of P of X dx. So our N is 2. So E to the negative integral of negative 5 over 2X dx. Or that's E raised to the power of 5 halves integral of 1 over X dx. That would be equal to E to the power of 5 halves ln of x. So our v, therefore, is equal to x raised to the power of 5 halves. So that would be our integrating factor. And then for our general solution, for the general solution, that would be v We based on this variable. So v0 raised to the power of 1 minus n is equal to 1 minus n integral of v q of x dx plus c. So our v is x raised to the power of 5 halves, and z would now be raised to the power of negative 1 because our n is 2, negative integral of x raised to the power of 5 halves, and our q of x is negative 3 over 2x squared. 2x squared dx. Plus c. So on the left side of the equation, that would be x raised to the power of, or let's just leave it like that. So x raised to the power of 5 halves uh, z to the power of negative 1 equals the positive uh, 3 halves integral of x raised to the power of 1 half dx plus c. That's 5 halves minus 2 in the denominator, that's 1 half. And integrating that, we have 3 halves times x raised to the power of 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus c. So we now have x raised to the power of 3 halves plus c on the right side. And we have x raised to the power of 5 halves z raised to the power of negative 1. So we transfer x to the power of 3 halves to the left. That's x raised to the power of 5 halves z raised to the power of negative 1 minus x raised to the power of 3 halves equals c. We factor out the common, greatest common factor, that would be x raised to the power of 3 halves. And we have x, z to the negative 1 minus 1 equals c. Wherein z is equal to sine y. So substituting x raised to the power of 3 halves times x times 1 over sine y minus 1 equals c. And we know that 1 over sine y is cosecant y. So x raised to the power of 3 halves times x cosecant of y minus 1 equals c. So to remove the fraction, we can raise both sides of the equation to the power of 2. So let us just um, let our constant be here, c sub 1. Such that c is c sub 1 raised to the power of 2. So raising both sides of the equation to the power of 2, we have x cubed times x 
cosecant of y minus 1 raised to the power of 2 equals c. And that is our differential, I mean the general solution of our given differential equation.